Here are some of the most outrageous rich kids in the world. Wait until you hear about the size of the mansion that Prince Azim of Brunei lives in. Number 9. Lao Sisters You remember the movie Crazy Rich Asians? Yep, this family is the real-life version. Josephine Lau was just a 7-year-old when her billionaire dad, Joseph Lau, bought her a $68 million diamond. That set a record back then for the highest price ever spent on a piece of jewelry. He actually renamed the 12-carat diamond, the Blue Moon of Josephine. That's not the only diamond he's bought for Josephine. In 2009, he bought a $40 million, 16.08 carat rare pink diamond for her as well. He named that diamond Sweet Josephine. She also got a blue diamond that same year that cost 13 million bucks. Her dad named that diamond the Star of Josephine. Is naming diamonds a thing in China? Or is this something all rich people do when they buy huge diamonds? Well, at least in this family, buying and naming diamonds is a big thing. Because for his other daughter, Zoe, he bought her a 9.75 carat blue diamond for $46 million. He named that diamond the Zoe Diamond. He also bought a $12 million, 10.1 carat ruby and diamond brooch for his oldest daughter. He named that one Zoe Red. What about houses? Lau also bought Josephine a $84.2 million house in 2011. If you're keeping count at home, this Hong Kong tycoon has already spent $231 million in gifts for Josephine by age 7. Who is this guy? Joseph Lau is regularly listed as one of the richest men in the world. In 2019, his net worth climbed to $16.3 billion. He first made his money selling ceiling fans back in the early 80s. He made his first $100 million before he turned 30, and then he got into property and stocks to continue getting rich. In 2014, he was actually sentenced to five years in jail by a Macau court for bribery and money laundering. But that didn't stop him from living his life to the fullest since. You've guessed it. He didn't go to jail. The absence of an extradition treaty between Hong Kong and Macau means he's unlikely to ever serve jail time. Here's a fun fact. The absence of an extradition treaty between Taiwan and Hong Kong is what first sparked the Hong Kong protests in 2019. Number 8. Blue Ivy Carter Blue Ivy Carter is the daughter of singer Beyonce Knowles and rapper Jay-Z. When Beyonce and Jay-Z are your parents, you're an A-lister before you were even born. At 11 months, she was already better dressed and had a bigger wardrobe than most Americans. Blue Ivy used to nap in a $3,500 crib. She also had her baths in a $5,200 pink Swarovski crystal encrusted bathtub. That was a nice little gift from her auntie Kelly Rowland. Blue Ivy Carter also gets to hang out with her famous parents on their private jet or cruises around the Mediterranean with them on their yacht. In 2017, her parents bought her a 30,000 square foot Bel Air home for $88 million. The home comes with a full four pools, enough for each member of the family to have one. There's also a helipad for, you know, whoever is dropping in. It's understandable for her parents to want her to live in the lap of luxury. It's only natural to want your kids to grow up with more resources than you. They didn't just give her material things, however, they're also teaching her the value of hard work. Theoretically, she was already a budding entrepreneur when she was five years old. Back in 2017, Beyonce's company was planning to launch a line of Blue Ivy Carter products. The company applied to trademark Blue Ivy's name to be used for everything from fragrances to hair care to entertainment services. Beyonce and Jay-Z famously tried to trademark just the name Blue Ivy with no Carter at the end shortly after she was born in 2012. However, a judge ruled that a Boston wedding planner had ownership of the name. There's still no official word as to what Blue Ivy's products will consist of, but if we had to guess, it's going to be something for kids. But guess what? Blue Ivy has already broken into the music business. She's actually won some awards for her work all at the age of seven. She won the Ashford and Simpson Songwriters Award at the BET Soul Train Awards for co-writing her mom's hit Brown Skin Girl. Number seven, Ekaterina Rebolovleva. Ekaterina Rebolovleva is the daughter of Dmitry Rebolovlev, a Russian oligarch who's worth an estimated $9 billion. Imagine having a dad who's worth that much money, because that means you're growing up doing whatever you want to do. For example, she grew up busy doing equestrian, and she's actually apparently not too shabby. 
She's actually won at least one competition, the Gucci Masters in 2010. But when she's not busy with Equestrian, she's busy living life. A life filled with multiple private jets, yachts, villas in five countries, an entire staff of helpers, and so much money that its value has lost all meaning. For example, her dad made headlines when he bought a $88 million penthouse on the Upper West Side of New York City, supposedly just for her to use when she's there. That was a record for just a single apartment at the time. The roughly 6,700 square foot apartment has 10 rooms and two wood-burning fireplaces. And this is just a part-time residence. She also has places in Monaco and Switzerland, but hold on, you know that's not all. She has her very own private island as well. Scorpios Island is a 74-acre island in the Ionian Sea between Italy and Greece. Dad acquired Scorpios and accompanying island Sparti, the island that supplies the water for Scorpios, for an undisclosed amount. The rumors are that he bought it for his daughter for around $150 million. Well, they're technically leasing the island for 100 years, but that's another story. The island has three major houses and several smaller buildings to accommodate almost 50 guests and up to 30 servants and 18 gardeners. It also comes with its own tennis courts, a pool, a greenhouse, a farmhouse with livestock, and yes, a helipad. Number 6. Prince Faza He may be the proud prince of Dubai, but Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid al Makfum, more commonly known as Faza, is certainly one of the kings of Instagram. At the moment of making this video, the prince has 9 million followers on Instagram who get to peek into his billionaire lifestyle every day. He's the second son of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and the Emir of Dubai. His father is worth an estimated $13.9 billion. Needless to say, he travels in the lap of luxury. When he doesn't feel like flying in his private jet, he'll fly in first class. When he's driving, he drives around in a diamond-studded, mink-finished Mercedes that's worth an estimated $4.8 million. If he's out at sea, he'll cruise around in one of the world's largest yachts, which has a $300 million price tag. And if he's gonna eat dessert, he's having nothing but the best. On one of his recent trips to New York, the prince ordered a $1,000 dessert, which was served in a $300 Baccarat goblet. What exactly does something that expensive get you? Some flakes of gold and Tahitian vanilla ice cream. Well, if you ordered that, you also get to keep the Baccarat goblet, so that's at least worth something. Okay, at least the prince's Instagram shows that he does know how to live life. He doesn't always live in the lap of luxury. He does ride the tube sometimes when he's in London. He has plenty of pictures of himself on Instagram doing outdoor activities. Skydiving, horseback riding, cycling, zip lining, and driving are just a few pastimes it looks like he's having fun doing. You know what? When your dad is rich and you have 21 other brothers and sisters, might as well take advantage and live life a little bit. Number 5. Prince Azim of Brunei Meet Azim, the Prince of Brunei. His dad is the Sultan of Brunei, who has an estimated $20 billion fortune and is rumored to own over 5,000 cars. Yeah, extravagance is in his genes. The prince grew up with more money than he can ever spend and a fascination with celebrities. Michael Jackson sang at his 25th birthday party. And he clearly chooses to splash his cash on courting celebrities. He has the habit of treating his celebrity friends to some really expensive gifts. For example, Prince Azim one time hired a private jet just to fly a $5.4 million necklace to Mariah Carey. He once gave a diamond tennis bracelet to actress Jerry Hall after he saw her on stage performing The Graduate. He also once bought Usher a pair of diamond encrusted shoes. Where did all this money come from? His family owes their wealth to its vast reserves of oil and natural gas. Prince Azim was born there in 1982, and he's the youngest of the Sultan's 10 children. As a child, he slept in a suite designed to look like a fairy tale land of knights, castles, and cottages hidden in forests. Even the carpet, specially made in Thailand, was hand cut to reproduce the shape of stones in a forest path, each a different color. Oh, and did we mention his family has a whopping 1,788 room mansion in Brunei? Seriously, who needs a place with more than 10 rooms, much less a thousand? A 2.1 million square foot palace is a bit excessive, don't you guys think? Yeah, this guy grew up in the largest residential palace in the world. Do princes and kings ever go broke? Probably not. But you know who do go broke all the time? 
rappers. Find out more about rappers who go broke in this video. Number four, Peter and Harry Brandt. If your mom is Stephanie Seymour, you may be able to get into some of the most exclusive clubs in the world. The sons of media mogul Peter Brandt and former supermodel Stephanie Seymour have made a name for themselves on New York City's social scene. They both look kind of the same, but Peter is the older brother. He goes by the name Peter Brandt, the second to distinguish himself from his billionaire father. The brothers grew up on a 53-acre spread in Greenwich, Connecticut with a life that's filled with art and fashion. Well, the life that they had growing up means they grew up with expensive tastes. Well, tastes that veer towards the flamboyant. For example, they once had planned to arrive at the Met Ball in a gold-plated Rolls Royce. Oh, that's not that flamboyant? They were also supposed to hop out of the car with a baby panther that had a diamond necklace on. Well, too bad that didn't actually happen. From an early age, their every move is tracked by various random fashion blogs. They've been going to exclusive fashion shows and parties since an early age. With nothing much to worry about, they essentially just focused on looking like celebrities and being on the scene. They themselves have said that they love dressing up in different outfits, and it was because they went to a lot of their mom's photo shoots in an interview with Vanity Fair. Well, basically these guys grew up fancy and are still learning to be fancy. Who knows? Number three, the Ecclestone sisters. You guys ever hear of Petra and Tamara Ecclestone? These are the two famous Ecclestone sisters. They're the daughters of Formula One mogul Bernie Ecclestone, who has an estimated personal fortune of $3.2 billion. With that much money, you guys know who were getting some of it. According to the girls, they were taught that, quote, money isn't everything, but this came from Tamara. She lives in a house that she bought for 45 million pounds back in 2011. Yep, money isn't everything when you have plenty of it, it is when you have none of it. The girls travel regularly on their dad's private jet and his vacation homes. As teenagers, they shared a credit card, which they admitted to having an allowance of several hundred pounds a month. Here's just another example of money doesn't mean anything. For Petra's engagement party back in 2011, her dad had an 800,000 pound Bugatti supercar for her as a gift. And oh yeah, he also had booked a private performance for her by Rihanna. Unfortunately, none of this helped her marriage to James Stunt uh, last that long. They got divorced in 2017. Also, Tamara wasn't the only sister to get a house from their dad in 2011. Bernie bought his daughter Petra one of the most expensive homes in the U.S. for $85 million. According to her real estate agent, she first looked at several other properties, including a 36,000 square foot property in L.A., priced at $49.5 million, but the properties weren't, quote, grand enough. The sisters have said their parents provided a grounding influence. Their mom takes them back to her native Croatia three times a year. She does this because she wants to remind them of how ordinary people live. Number two, billionaire babies. Most parents find themselves stretching the family budget at Christmas, but for some lucky kids, money is no object and their Christmas trees are lined with gifts that are worth thousands of dollars. Billionaire Babies at Christmas is a British TV show that showcases rich parents who give their kids crazy gifts. Kids are showered with gifts such as jewelry worth thousands of dollars or a custom made coloring book worth a staggering $30,000. The show basically follows several super rich families who buy a lot of uh, questionable gifts for their kids. For example, there's a mom out there who wanted to give her 20 month old baby Valentina a very special Christmas. She hired a party planner to create a winter wonderland for her. There's a three tier cakes topped with sparklers, balloons, and ballerinas all at a cost well over $20,000. But the icing on the cake was Valentina's present, a rare blue diamond pendant worth $130,000. All this for a baby. At this point, you'd have to think the parents are just doing it for themselves, right? Because do you remember any of your gifts at two years old? Other gifts given to these babies included $65,000 dollhouses, miniature supercars, and gold-plated iPads. Marcel Noble is a luxury brand consultant. He knows what's going on. According to him, the children of the wealthy have become extremely demanding and very discerning. They know what's out there and what's off the shelf often isn't enough for them. And these super rich parents are giving in to ever more outrageous demands from their kids. Who's really running the household? So what happens once these kids get older? We're glad you asked because that brings us to... Number one, billionaire kids. 
This is the sister show that gives you a glimpse of how these billionaire kids live once they get a little older. McGuire Brown is the son of Zach Brown, former Formula One driver. He has a chauffeur, a personal trainer, and an allowance that's thousands of dollars at the age of 15. He has a $65,000 Richard Mill watch that he got from his dad because he essentially stayed out of trouble. He does say that he feels very privileged and very lucky. He's apparently really thankful for his hardworking parents, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to get to enjoy what they have. Zach Brown, understandably, has a collection of cars worth millions of dollars. One of them is a million dollar Bugatti. On the show, McGuire basically tells his dad he's got no choice but to let him drive it when he turns 17. Other kids on the show include the kids of Laban Rooms, the gold plates items for rich and famous with clients such as P. Diddy and Tyrese. He basically can gold plate anything. He says he's even gold plated the Sultan of Brunei's toilet before. Well, doing that sort of business means plenty of money to throw around. Apparently, at least 40% of the stuff that he makes is actually gifts for his clients' kids. Even he's not immune to it himself. On the show, he's shown giving a 24-karat plated iPad to his 8-year-old daughter, Alexia. We can keep going on and on, but really, do we need to? The show basically showcases kids with parents who are willing to jump however high the kids ask them to. But hey, it's their money and their kids. Watch this next video to learn how rappers go broke.